University of Louisville, and our own choir and organist, Lisa Lewis. There is a reception following the service in Board Hall, and you are invited to come and enjoy a glass of Pims and a little cucumber sandwich. Thank you.
Please stand. Seventy years ago, Queen Elizabeth II acceded the throne, soon to be anointed with holy oil, clothed with sacred garments, and after receiving symbols of authority, crowned with the crown of St. Edward, King and Confessor, just as Her Majesty's royal predecessors from 1066 had done. Here today we gather to give thanks to Almighty God for the faithful ministry and dutiful service that the Queen continues to offer God and the people of the United Kingdom, the overseas territories and the realms and as head of the Commonwealth. As we pray for Her Majesty, the Prince of Wales and other members of the Royal Family in health and wealth long to live and for peace and prosperity throughout the lands, so shall we pray for the grace of God that we too may offer our lives in faithful service and wholehearted commitment for the good of our communities and nations. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through anointing with the oil of gladness at the hands of priests and prophets, dost strengthen thy chosen servants with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, be pleased to accept our joyful praise as with united voice we give thanks for the long and glorious reign of Queen Elizabeth and to receive our humble prayer that by renewing thy blessings, thou wilt pour upon her thy choicest gifts and upon all thy people the spirit of humility and service shown forth in the life and death of him who is the anointed King of all, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord, open thou our lips.
You may be seated. A reading from Kings. King David called. He said, Call me Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Maniah the son of Jehoiada. And they came before the king. The king also said unto them, Take with you the servants of your Lord, and cause Solomon my son to ride upon mine own mule, and bring him down to Gihon. And let Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, Anoint him there king over Israel. And blow ye with trumpet and say, God save King Solomon. Then sh ye shall come up after him, that he may come and sit upon my throne. For he shall be king in my stead. And I have anointed him to be ruler over Israel and Judah. And Benaiah and the son of Jehoiada answered the king and said, Amen. The Lord God of my Lord the King says so too. As the Lord hath been with my Lord King, even so he be with Solomon and make his throne greater than the throne of my Lord King David. So Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada and the Curethites and Pelethites went down and caused Solomon to ride upon King David's mule and brought him to Gihon. And Zadok the priest took a horn of oil out of the tabernacle and anointed Solomon. And they blew the trumpet, and all the people said, God save King Solomon. And all the people came after him, and the people piped with pipes and rejoiced with great, great joy, so that the earth rent with the sound of them. The word of the Lord.
second lesson is taken from the book of Mark. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldst do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand, in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said to him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise leadership over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. The word of the Lord.
Please stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you.
of Queen Elizabeth did set her apart for thy service, anointing her with thy Holy Spirit, grant, we beseech thee, that strengthened by thy sevenfold gifts, we may likewise always remain faithful to our calling and active in thy service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, make thy servant, Queen Elizabeth, to rejoice in thy strength, give her her heart's desire, and deny not the request of her lips, but prevent her with thine everlasting blessing, and give her a long life, even forever and ever. Amen. O eternal God, whose chosen servant, Queen Elizabeth, hath for seventy years worn a crown of glory and righteousness, in humble duty and devotion to thee, grant that her people, knowing whose authority she has, may continue, continue faithfully to serve, honor, and obey her in thee and for thee, after the example of him who is the servant king, Jesus Christ our Lord. You may be seated.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, we give thee thanks for thy gracious gifts so freely bestowed on Queen Elizabeth throughout these past 70 years, for wisdom and insight, for constancy and steadfastness of faith, and for fortitude and courage, both in prosperity and adversity. We thank thee for the Queen's long and glorious reign, for her devotion to duty and to the peoples of the United Kingdom, the overseas territories, and the realms and the Commonwealth, for her sustained support of the armed forces and civil powers, and for her unswerving commitment to the peaceful democratic principles of these lands. We thank thee for Her <coughs> Majesty's hum example of humble service, for her commitment to the needs of others, for her affectionate service of her peoples, and for the strength and inspiration she fosters in the nations. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us sinners, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for watching and being with us here at St. Luke's. We appreciate you being here. If you'd like to join us in person, we'd love to see you. Perhaps on Sunday, if you're so inclined, we have service at 8 a.m., followed by a 10 a.m. full mass. Please join us, won't you?